How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back for yet another review. And uh, today we're going to be doing a little Doppelbach action. Um, Doppelbachs are one of my favorite styles of beer if they're done right. And uh, hopefully this one has been done right. Um, this is uh, Toboggan, which is a Doppelbach made with uh, cocoa from a local brewery, Uber Local. The brewery itself is probably, let's say, about 10, maybe 15 minutes away from where I live, and it's Susquehanna Brewing Company. Susquehanna Brewing Company is pretty new to the game. They've only been around for um, a few years, a couple years, um, but they have a long history. And they used to be involved with, the, uh, I believe it was Stegmeyer Brewery, another local brewery for years and years and years in their family lineage. Anyway, um, they opened a brewery a couple years ago, so I haven't been there yet, haven't visited yet, just because the way my work schedule for my day job is precludes me from visiting a lot of breweries because they're not open on Sundays and Mondays. And those are my days off. But uh, apparently they have a pretty state-of-the-art set up there, so looking forward to visiting them sometime in the near future. Um, but this is the first beer I'm going to review from them. I have had this before, um, but it was last year in a bomber, and it was the first year producing it. Um, and I liked it. It was quite nice, especially for a local place, to see a local place doing something a little bit bigger and bolder than the typical, you know, genera lager or uh, IPA or something like that. So, um, like I said, it is a Doppelbach toboggan from Susquehanna Brewing Company as far as what it says on the label. Uh, it says up here, People Beer by Beer People. And on the bottom, it says uh, Susquehanna Brewing Company, uh, Susquehanna toboggan, lager brewed with cocoa, chocolate Doppelbach. Uh, let's see, a collaboration, collaboration with Awesome Chocolate. So that's the chocolate company they worked with. Government warning stuff on the side here, recycling stuff. You got a little bit of story in the back. Uh, people beer by beer people. The perfect end to a winter day. Toboggan chocolate Doppelbach is a rich amber lager brewed with Munich crystal, Munich crystal and chocolate malts, cocoa, and finished with the Hellertal hops for a malty yet balanced beer. This Doppelbach has a toasty flavor with notes of chocolate from the addition of awesome chocolates to the boil. Uh, kick your feet up and enjoy it in front of a glowing fireplace or YouTube for this <laughs> purpose. Uh, the great thing about winter is you get to do this again tomorrow. So yeah, label-wise, love it. Super cool label. It's laid out fantastic. Um, art design-wise, it's basically got, um, looks like an old picture of people in on a toboggan. Some cool graphics on it. It's just really thoughtfully laid out. Really done really, really well from front to back to everything about it. It's probably, it's, I've seen a bunch of their beers, and this is, all the labels are really nice. They're done really well. This is probably my favorite of the bunch. But as I always say, proof is in a beer. So let's see what this sucker has to offer. <laughs> okay. First things first. Lacks that kind of murky, high density that I usually cover in my doppel box. It's very clear. There's really not much uh, going on there in um, funk or gravity or any kind of debris floating around there. Very clear. A little bit of carbonation. Um, for doppel box with a um, chocolate in it, a little bit lighter head than what I expect. About two fingers worth. Super crazy tiny bubbles. Decent creamy top. And it's just like um, lighter and like I said, not as dense as I would hope it would be. Um, you know, it's kind of like an off reddish tint, lighter reddish color. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like, you know, a not super high gravity Doppelbach. So, let's see what she has in the nose. A little bit of cocoa there, not too much. Uh, if you're going to put cocoa on the label, I expect it to be really cocoa forward, but it's a little bit there, but not too crazy. Um, and that kind of like Bavarian German yeastiness you expect for your atypical Doppelbach. And some rich maltiness to it, but nothing too crazy. Pretty um, subtle on the nose. Got two in your face. But pleasant overall. Yeah, not too shabby. Let's see what she has to offer in the mouth. Cheers. It's not too bad. Um... I expected a um, a bit more of everything, to be perfectly honest with you. The chocolate, the cocoa um, that's in there is barely, um, barely there. I mean, it's almost, 
almost like to the point where you don't know if you're tasting it or not because you want it to be there. It's that subtle. Mouth feels nice. Like I said, I like to have that high gravity, high density in my double box and it lacks that. But that being said, it's a nice mouth feel. Nice little fluffiness, nothing too crazy though. Um, not overly sweet. It's got a nice um, balance between, you know, the hops and the malts to the point where it's like very well balanced in that aspect, but very subtle. Um, you know, just from based off memory, like I said, I had it last year. Based off memory, I think there was a bit more to it last year than it is this year. Again, could just be my mind playing tricks on me, but it just seems like it's lacking um, in every aspect from color to flavor than it was last year. So, you know, kind of a disappointment. I was expecting a little bit more to it, have a little bit more oomph to it um, from flavor and everything else. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's definitely an easily, easy drinkable beer. And I guess in the grand scheme of things, it is a Doppelbach. I would throw it more in a winter warmer category myself, based on taste um, and lack of um, boldness. Um, but I mean, you, there are, you know, your your traditional Doppelbachs, which don't have as much, as much oomph to it. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like one of those. Uh, so, kind of a little disappointed. You know, we should have brought a little bit more from the table, uh, or to the table, I should say. Uh, you know, um, typically when I review beers, I know it's like some people um, who review beers. Not that we're being overly critical of local places. Is, uh, who doesn't want a fantastic brewery right down the street from their house? Um, but it's so it's way easier, way more readily available local beer. So you tend to try. Um, beers that they're trying to make that maybe aren't, <sighs> how do I put it? You, you don't expect more, but you're exposed to it more. So um, it, sometimes it seems like you kind of come off with local places a little bit harsher, um, but I think it's more a thing where you're just, the exposure is more, and, you know, if you get a chocolate apple box, I'm ready at putting it up against the other apple box I've had that are chocolate-based apple box I've had. Not that I've had a lot of chocolate apple box, but just the apple box that I covet, like your I am your Celebrator or your Emily's Imperial apple box or your Troganator or beers of that nature, your Voodoo Vader that are just super dense, super creamy, super malty. And it just seems to lack in the aspects that I wish it had. So, um, unfortunately, uh, rating, well, unfortunately, rating-wise, I'm going to give it a 75 um, that's not a bad score. It's absolutely drinkable beer. Fantastic. Like I said, it's more in a winter warmer vein for me. And it's something that, you know, I, there's no ABV in the bottle. It's kind of annoying. But I can't see. I could be skipping it, but I don't see it anywhere. Um, yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Uh, you know, it seems like something I could session out. Something that has decent flavor. And something that's drinkable, but not something I'm going to covet. So, 75 overall. As far as availability and value, I believe I paid like 10 bucks for a four pack. Um, and, uh, you know, for the beer it is, it's not too shabby, so I give it like a seven on a value scale. And availability is northeastern Pennsylvania. For me, the availability is going to be like a 10 because it's literally five minutes down the short road, or literally 15, like I just said, not literally. Um, so for me, it's going to be availability of a 10, even though it is a seasonal. Um, but anybody outside of this area, I'm pretty sure they don't see it that much. So take that with a grain of salt. So, yeah. 75 overall and decent scores on value and availability, depending on where you live. Unless you live here, then it's crazy high in availability. So, yeah. So that's my hand is to Bob. And if you're a big winter warmer fan and you want something that's a little bit different, or if you're a non-high gravity Doppelbach fan, might be something you want to check out. If you see it floating around in your mix of six, um, definitely be worth uh, giving it a whirl to see if it's uh, up your alley. So, yeah. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Um, if you did or you didn't, or anywhere in between, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you know beers that you think should be reviewed, that don't get reviewed, or local breweries that produce great beer that you don't 
that don't get great distribution that you think other people should know about, please let us know because we're always on the search for really nice beer. Um, and if you'd like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Massive Beers. We're way more active on Instagram, so if you can check us out anywhere, check us out there. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying a nice beer right now, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.